Hi, I'm Charlie Cicchetti, CEO of Green Building Education Services. Check us out at gbes.com. This is another Facebook Live where you can learn, lead, live. Today we're going to talk about those ASHRAE standards that get a little confusing on our lead exams. We're going to go through the five most common that you'll see on your projects and on the lead exams, especially the lead green associate. So, first though, you might get this question, what does ASHRAE stand for? ASHRAE actually is based here in Atlanta. They have a lead platinum headquarters. They're a trade organization that actually will come out with building standards. LEED doesn't make the building standards. LEED has gone out and said, what are the strict standards that we want our buildings to follow? And so they've actually gone through and they've highlighted five ASHRAE standards. So ASHRAE stands for American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers. You need to know that for your exam. One of the first ASHRAE standards that's going to show up is ASHRAE 52.2, and that's when we're selecting our filters. On your lead exams, you need to know that MERV filters, it's a range from 1 to 16. During construction, you want MERV 8 filters, and during occupancy, you want MERV 13 filters. We do have the years on here. All of you are actually going to test for a lead version 4 exam, the latest and greatest version of lead. And um, we've upgraded to the more recent ASHRAE standards. They update about every three years typically. And this is what our lead version 4 projects would be following. So ASHRAE 52.2, that just think filters for your exam. You don't need to know any one of these in much detail, but you need to know 52, okay, filters. ASHRAE 55 is thermal comfort. We can get an additional point on our lead projects if our mechanical engineers design with humidity in mind and overall thermal comfort, a lot of different factors in that design. So ASHRAE 55, just think thermal comfort. A memorization technique, I've been teaching lead classes for many, many years. If it's 55 degrees, you might be a little cold and thermal uncomfortable. I know it's cheesy, but these memorization techniques, they do work. So ASHRAE 55, think thermal comfort. Next, ASHRAE 62.1, that deals with ventilation. You might hear some ventilation here in our lead CI Gold office where we're based in Atlanta, Georgia. We also have an office in Texas. ASHRAE 62.1, think ventilation. We have to bring in enough outside fresh air to our buildings. <clears throat> ASHRAE 90.1, this is the big one. This is where we get the most points on a lead for new construction project. ASHRAE 90.1 is building performance, think energy code. In most parts of the United States, we have to follow the ASHRAE 90.1 standard. Actually, LEED wants us to do better by a certain percent than that standard. So ASHRAE 90.1-2010, some jurisdictions are starting to adopt that more recent version. LEED's gonna force us into that more stringent version of energy code. Finally, and this is starting to show up on some of the uh, updates to the LEED Grant Associate over the last couple years, ASHRAE 189.1 standard. That's a high performance building standard on one hand, but where does it show up within the LEED rating system actually related to our cooling towers and evaporation and that efficiency? So let's recap today on Monday's Facebook Live. What does ASHRAE stand for? American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, uh, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers. <clears throat> Here are the five ASHRAE standards you need to know a little bit about to be successful on your lead exams. ASHRAE 52.2, that's our filters. Think MERV 8 filters during construction and MERV 13 filters during occupancy. ASHRAE 55, that's the thermal comfort standard we want to follow. ASHRAE 62.1, ventilation. ASHRAE 90.1, lots of points available. That's our energy code, our building performance. <clears throat> And then ASHRAE 189, again, some locales are adopting it as a green building kind of performance standard, but where it really probably shows up on our lead projects is with cooling tower efficiency. Uh, like, like us on Facebook so you can get more notifications here with our Facebook Lives, and good luck on your lead exams.